Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a way of remembering the values of sin 30, cos 30 and tan 30. So to do this, you'll need to start off with a right angle triangle uh, with a base length of 1 unit and a hypotenuse of 2 units. So this will give you a 30 degree angle inside the triangle. Okay, the reason for this is because it's half in an equilateral triangle. Okay, so let's just work out the length of this side. So you can do this by doing Pythagoras. So it would be 2 squared minus 1 squared square rooted. So 2 squared is 4 minus 1 squared is 3. So it's root 3. So if we label up our triangle then next, so this longest side is H, the side opposite the ang angle is O, and the third side is the adjacent side. Okay, so our formula for sin then is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we substitute our numbers into the formula, sin 30 is the opposite over hypotenuse which gives an answer of one half. So let's do the value for cos. So cos theta is the adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we substitute these numbers in, we get cos 30 equals, so our adjacent is root three, and, I, and the hypotenuse is two. So cos 30 is root three over two. And finally our value for tan, so tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So again if we substitute our numbers in, tan 30 is equal to 1 over the adjacent root 3. So this final one we can actually rationalise the denominator. So I do this by multiplying the top and bottom by root 3. So 1 times root 3 is root 3, and root 3 times root 3 is 3. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.